In about 15 months, or on January 1st, 1958 to be exact, the construction you see behind us will become the nation's newest and among the nation's largest port terminals for air travel. With me here is Leonard Thompson, port director here in Miami, and he's holding an artist conception of what the new terminal is going to look like. Mr. Thompson, could you describe uh, what these facilities are here? Well, the terminal proper is the tower section here, which will contain the offices and the tower uh, operated by CAA at the top. How many planes can you handle in this main ramp, Mr. Thompson? This particular finger right here will take care of 12 to 14 plane positions. We're standing about this location here now, and the people coming in on the planes will, uh, to take a plane, will go out this ramp here to Lejeune Road, where the clover leaf will take the, the, the traffic off into the uh, toll road when and if it's built going downtown. Mr. Thompson, there have been charges made that there are no provisions in this facility for the new third carrier or for smaller airlines. What's your reply to that? It's true that the present terminal, as set up in this contract, uh, is being taken up with contracts or leases that has used, have used all the facilities that are there, but the terminal is so designed that an additional finger can be put onto the terminal. It is recommended and approved by the present commission and if it is found necessary the money will be available and the additional finger will be probably in use or ready to use when this terminal as presently being built is completed. Will you say absolutely then that uh, facilities will be made for any and all carriers in this new 11 million dollar uh, facility? I'll say this, that uh, if we don't have it when we get the, com the building completed and there are carriers that want more space, whether it's counter space or finger space, that space will be made available regardless.